JR and their team are the best. Number one. Okay, so the only team we stop the your only phone. team we interact with. Wow. Over the weekend, members of the RGR Glena Group and partners journeyed to the parish of St. Elizabeth to offer aid to residents who are impacted by Hurricane Beryl. Joining us now is Senior Executive Corporate and External Affairs, Gary Allen, and he's going to tell us all about it. Morning, sir. Good morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. No. Tell me, first of all, uh, about the genesis of this project? Uh, genesis of projects like these in RJR are, are generally broad based. Mm -hmm. So what happened for me was I had um, someone from marketing, someone from news, someone from corporate in the same day say, you know, um, this Whatever is the kind of thing that we should be doing something about. And I was saying, okay, so how are we going to do this? So when they said we needed to do something, you kind of had four or five ideas that just collapse at once. And mm -hmm. we say, all right, well, we can't do it in-house, so we have to go out. And if we're going to go out, we have to go to where the need is greatest. And it will be a drop in the bucket, but it will be a, a drop that is um, An useful. An impactful drop. So, mm -hmm. um, we, we reached out. Um, you know, we have, we have staff members, correspondents, and reporters who are from different areas that have been affected. Wow. So when we talk to people, it's their stories, and we hear from them because many of them have their houses damaged, this, that, and the other. And they're seeing things happen around them. Mm. So St. Elizabeth was, was certainly one that was on the map. So we decided that um, we'll start there. Obviously, it can't be where we end, but we'll start there. And um, that's how we got started. How did we, as a whole, the start is one thing. Mm -hmm. Pulling it together is quite another. Mm -hmm. I heard the promos running on radio for people to bring stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we put up some of our own money from our jail. You got corporate sponsors. Tell us how you pulled it now all together, having had Right. So again, that too is, is an effort. So you say to marketing, well, go for some corporate. I um, talk to people on the board um, in the group. I um, say to other team members, um, people who you know, who you can call, um, call. I go to accounts, I say, we have done this before, let's uh, make sure that our accounts are active, let's find one of them that we can use to accept donations, let's get that going. Um, and so I, I find myself coordinating um, largely because I've, I've done it before, mm -hmm. um, because we do it for Haiti, we do it for other things that have come up in the past. So that, that became the role of coordinating, but it's a lot of people and then, um, on Saturday, I was, I was um, really, really pleased that we had staff that just turned out on Saturday to come and help to pack up things. So, Ooh. you know, to do this, um, you have the, the, the corporate title is one thing, but um, you have to go with people to pay for the stuff that we're buying using the funds that we have generated and the ones we have contributed. I have to go with them to the supermarket, I have to go with them to this place, that way, mm -hmm. place, um, get things packed up, get them in the vehicle, come back here. We have bags, we have 20, 30 people who are in the big studio just opened up with things looking to make sure that we can put things together. And you look and you say, no, these bags are missing certain things and so on. Um, and when you go there and you realize the impact that your package has, mm. it's just tremendous. I mean, there were some things that in the midst of it all were just heartrending when, mm. when I What did you see? It. Tell us what, because some of us, well, I think, are still living in the lap of what I'm going to call luxury. We mm. don't have any idea Absolutely. at all Absolutely. how badly some people have been affected. Yeah, so I feel like there are two, three, probably even four Jamaicas at the moment because wow. of what is happening. So, yes, you get to Black River, and Black River had electricity restored to it. On the way there, you see that there were trees. You get to Holland Bamboo, and you realize that, yeah, well, something tremendous happened here because a lot of the bamboo trees are are down, they have cut them off. Um, you wonder how soon it's going to grow back, how is it going to look like what it looked like before? But then you get through that and you start to get to communities now where you start seeing different things. And so you get up to Black River and you say, oh, okay, um, let's try and take out things and help. But then I went with a team because I wanted us to be on the road with packages as well to help people. And we brought our generator truck along with us because you have to think about practically what can help. Mm -hmm. um, people can't make contact with their families because they can't afford charge to charge their phones. Mm -hmm. um, we saw people who 
had not been able to afford the two hundred dollars that they are charging uh, for them to charge up their phone. Mm -hmm. um, so when we stopped and people called out in a community that you can come and get free charge, we were surprised. Um, I didn't know that they had fans that worked on on charged mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. backup charging. Mm -hmm. um, so you see fans, you see tablets, you see computers, you see phones um, that people come out with. You see lights and stuff that people came out to charge. And um, when they say to me that um, the fan is not so much for the heat, you know, because the heat is something that we have to live with every day. Mm -hmm. But look at the baby them, and you see these blotches on the babies. There is an outbreak of, yes. of mosquito inf um, mm -hmm. infestation in some areas. Mm -hmm. um, they can't sleep. If they have the fan, the fan, fan will blow away the mosquitoes. They'll get a few hours. Um, you see situations with people who have not eaten for ages. Mothers, one of our, our big um, partners, mothers gave us um, probably a couple thousand buns. So we were able to give away buns and people were just happy to get something and they open the package and they eat at the same time. Um, you were sharing with me also about the ice. And yes, yes, that was the one that really, really um, blew me away because um, we had, uh, I had an igloo in the vehicle with, with not much. I put two bags of ice in there and probably a little over half dozen bottles of water to say that we might get thirsty, um, those in my car. And when I took out one of the bottles, someone saw, came up to the car. Um, and, you know, I explained to them, and these are people in distress, but they are not disorderly and they are not impolite. Mm -hmm. And when I said that, I only have the water for us. We have given you everything else that we have. So I just want to leave these bottles for them. And um, she said, well, um, can you just put a piece of the ice on the baby mouth for me? Oh, my God. Um, and then you, you think about that and you realize. And I, I gave her a block of the ice that was in the thing. And you see, like, three, four children who were just there at the same time, who were putting their mouth up on the ice. I mean, that's just, they haven't in 10 days um, had anything cool. Mm. Um, you know, you have people who come and explain to you that my grandmother is at home, um, they can't come out, um, can I just take something for them? Um, you, you see all of this. Um, it will take a, a while. I, I counted six or seven sheets of zinc on my drive into Pedro Plains that were firmly in the light wire right up at the boxes on the post, mm -hmm. lodged there. That will have to, those will have to be removed, mm -hmm. poles will have to be replanted uh, before they can talk about electricity. And some of the electricity will get to the road, but people live off the road. So there will be light at the road, but not at home yeah. still. So you have that. So you, you are seeing the hunger. You are seeing that there are different things that um, they will need. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you, it's almost like a ratio of three to one houses that the roofs are gone and one that stayed. That um, churches ridiculous. seem to have been particularly badly affected in that area. And you know that the church churches is a whole really community yes. in and of itself yes. that does a lot of different things for people. Yes. So the impact on that is significant. People want to do something. They feel helpless. Mm. They, you know, one of the guys I was talking to said that we want some seeds to plant stuff. Um, I see these fields. You just drive and see these huge patches it's of dry. melon that is just rotting in the field now. Mm. Um, you know, you, you think about the onions and the scallion and yeah. the pumpkin and all of yeah. that. And they said, but we want to we want to feel like we're useful. We want to start something. That means mm -hmm. that two months' time, we're not going to be want hungry. To I want to plant something. Mm -hmm. And I think that many of many of us in corporate and many of us in, in the established offices should take a look at not just the immediate challenge, but what it is that we are going to do to help to recover. People need to be able to have self-sufficiency. They need to be able to, to go and, and plant something and be able to look forward to reaping something. I think we miss the ball if we do not prepare them for the next two or three months. Mm -hmm. And if we are just so focused on the immediate that we're not also riding and whistling mm -hmm. and allowing people to see a chance as to how they will get out of this vortex. Yeah. But where do we go from here, sir? Are we still open we, for donations? We are still open for donations. I'm going to have to give you the information um, on the account for you to repeat it for me um, this, this morning um, at um, Bank of Nova Scotia, New Kingston. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be able to take 
um, direct deposits in branch or people can transfer to it. So I'll give you the account and ask you to mention that a few times in the program. We are going to choose um, a community or two in other parishes because we know that yes, while we didn't great. have a big impact um, in St. Elizabeth with four or five hundred hot meals that were delivered by, by us and another 450 care packages that were handed out, that still was not a no. big dent in mm -hmm. what uh, ha mm -hmm. happened there. So I know that we have to do more in other areas and we are going to select parishes um, that have been most affected, which is more than likely on the South Coast. It's, yes. it's going to be Clarendon, um, Manchester or Westmoreland that we are going to go in. We we'll set the time frame because we have to look at competing things this yeah, weekend right. coming up um, mm -hmm. and then we decide where we go. But there's a lot out there that we need to help with for many, many weeks and months to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we should not lose the opportunity to do that. And I thank everybody who came out, almost 50 people from work. And Delia, sorry I didn't call you and make sure that you know because yes. you you would sir, have come you know and you, you come. would have been there, but it was last minute, the yes. Wednesday evening, and next we said trip. we have to do something. So next so trip, next time, next trip, I'm there, right. guys. Please make note of this. It's on screen. It's the Hurricane Recovery Initiative for Affected Communities. You can send money via electronic transfer, or you can make a direct deposit. It's Television Jamaica Change a Life Savings Account one zero eight two two nine four five. It's at the Bank of Nova Scotia, New Kingston. And listen, if you, if you can't donate cash, I tell you, some people went and will buy one heap of supplies for burial. What we can I use? Yeah. Bring can, them come. Yeah, can Bring I tell come. you very quickly? Uh, mm. We had somebody who walked into the, the, the office at North Street. She said she took a taxi um, mm. and she used uh, money out that she had to do that. But she had only $2,500 or $3,000 left and that's what she brought. Yes, mm. um, we had some people who came um, to linder us here with a few tins of sardine. Mm. Um, it's the mickle that makes and, it's the mickle and it all it. added up to help us, to yep. help some other people. And I yep. really, really appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Um, Claire was telling me of the lady who looked in the bag and, and took out the bar of soap mm -hmm. and said, Miss, Miss, you wouldn't like, no. Um, I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to bathe the to them, a bar of soap. Yeah. So we, we, we need so to So never think it's too little. Exactly. Everything That's you have, is, it, it can mean something. That's the point. All right. Thank you very All much. Right. I appreciate yeah. it. All right. And thanks to everybody. Thanks to the staff. Thanks to those who have given and those who will give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Active for the good of our nation. Folks. We're on Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Senior Executive Corporate and External Affairs, Gary Allen. After the break, we meet the Jamaican who took on the Carla Hall's next favorite chef competition. Just saying. We can Sounds cook, you know, Jamaican people love cook. When you say we... Then the fire. Cool. <laughs>